Hello, this is Catherine from Accelerated Reader, reading books for you. Today, I will be reading Brave Mermaids, The Treasure, written by Maria Mandel Dunch, illustrated by Wafmi de Zoisa. Before I begin reading, I would like to give a big thanks to the author for sending me this book to read on my channel. In the description below, I've included links where you may find and purchase this book. Livy was exploring the spectacular ocean with her sister, Lexa, and their merpup, Finn. It was right around here. Maybe you made a mistake. Livy was sure that she did not make a mistake. Yesterday, while playing catch with a colorful fish, she spotted a magnificent shipwreck. But now she couldn't find it. She swam this way and that way, wondering where it could be. And then, suddenly, she saw it, hidden behind a coral reef. There! Livy caught Lexa's hand in hers and pulled her closer. Then she started swimming toward the shipwreck. Do you see it now? It is the most splashtastic shipwreck. Lexa was astonished at the sight of the ship with colorful fish swimming in and out of it. They raced towards the ship, eager to discover its secrets. Livy was the first to get there. Let's explore. Come on. Hey, be quiet! Their arrival scared away some of the fish. Sorry. But how could they be quiet when they were so excited? They swam through the ship, amazed by their discovery. Looking around, Livy suddenly noticed something half buried under the sand. It was the glittering corner of a treasure chest. Lexa, look! A treasure chest! This is fantastic! They hurried to the bottom of the ship, which was covered with sand. A corner of a chest was peeking out. Together, Livy and Lexa cleared away the sand and pulled it out. They could see beautiful golden patterns on the chest. Elegant rubies glittered magnificently. Livy could not wait to open it. Oh my bubbles! That's real gold! Livy tried to open the chest with all her strength, but it did not work. Lexa also tried, but couldn't. Oh, it won't open. They tried lifting the chest, but it was too heavy. What are we going to do now? Maybe we should take the treasure home with us. I surrender. I can open this chest, and I will. Livy was still not ready to give up. Don't be a sea pooper. I'm not a sea pooper. Livy then tried to give it a cozy hug, but it squirmed away from her. My metacognition tells me this treasure doesn't want to be free. What does that mean? Just my thoughts on the situation. Livy tried to open the chest again and again, but no matter what she did, it would not open. Maybe we should ask our friends for help. With Lexa's help, Livy managed to get all their friends to gather near the shipwreck. She showed them the treasure chest and asked for their help to get it open. 
Arya, the Seacorn, thought that the chest would open if she tickled it with a pirate's feather. Tickle, tickle. Sparkles, the dolphin, thought that they would be able to open the chest by doing a pirate polka dance around it. Yo ho ho! Finn, the merpup, tried barking at it, but that did not open the chest either. This is such a stubborn chest! Ollie, the wise octopus, suggested using magic words to open it. Abracadabra, shiver me timbers. After all their efforts, everyone was ready to give up, but not Livy. All of you had great ideas. What if we did them together? While Livy and Lexa tried to push open the chest, Ollie performed his magic. Sparkles did a polka dance and Arya tickled it with a feather, and Finn barked at it. Abracadabra, shiver me timbers! Suddenly, they heard a click. The chest had opened. Murray! Wow, Livy! All these treasures belong to you now. Livy had to agree that it would be awesome to own the whole treasure, but she didn't think that would be fair. All of you helped me. We should all share this treasure. Ollie selected a silver pocket watch. Sparkles picked a beautiful golden statue of a dolphin. Finn found a bracelet with green and blue gems that he used as a collar. Arya took a ruby ring that she put on her horn. Lexa got a jeweled crown. Then something amazing caught Lexa's eye. It was a glorious necklace with a glowing sapphire that matched Livy's eyes. Would you like this? Oh, my bubbles! Yes! Is it okay for me to have it? It's the most amazing thing here. Of course! We would never have gotten the chest open if it wasn't for your determination. From then on, Livy became known as the mermaid who never gave up. All her friends knew that they could always count on her to press on with determination, no matter how difficult the situation. The end. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. In the description below, I've included links where we find and purchase this book.